everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do another cover and how to sound like video. This time we're going to try and get the times on Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So before we get started, if you like this cover and sound like video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate it and check them out. So Give It Away is a really interesting one because it doesn't sound like there's a lot of effects going on, but there's some key ingredients that really help you get this time. So the reason why I decided to do this is because I was recently sent the Analog Flanger by Supro. Now, I've said many times that I'm not normally a fan of flanger pedals, but when they're done subtle and in a great way, I really like them. If you want to see my full demo of the Analog Flanger by Supro amps, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Okay, so for Shante, obviously we need a strat, so I'm using my Matmul S Classic, which is one of my favourite vintage style strats. The amp I'm running into is my Cornell 4550 Plexi, which again is one of my favourite Plexi style amps. Now, the main riff is just the Plexi turned up a little bit, so it's already driving the time bit and then the analog flanger giving us that really subtle metallic sound that we hear on the original song there's definitely a flanger on this because it's such an unmistakable sound now that's used throughout the whole main guitar part apart from when we get to the end where it's like so for that, I kick off the flanger and I actually engage the micro amp style boost in the JFX pedals Imperium. So I pull that track isolated from the intro song now so you can see and hear exactly what's going on and you'll see the settings of the Supra flanger on screen. <laughs> Okay, so the last part we're going to look at is the little reverse delay solos. So for that, I'm using the Boris Audio Make ID one that has a really great reverse delay algorithm, and that's pretty much it. None of the pedals engaged, it's just the guitar into the D1 and then into the amp. So that track, isolated from the intro song, sounds like this. So there we have it, that was a look at how to sound like Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. A really cool song and there's some key ingredients to really get this right. You need that flanger pedal and you need a plexi in a strat. And now it doesn't really sound like this heavy flanging on the original, but that's why it's so cool because it just adds this texture to the guitar time that is unmistakable in its own way. Of course, the Supra analog flanger really came in handy for this and in my opinion, nailed the sound. Again, if you want to see my full demo of the Supra flanger, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. And then of course, having the Warris Audio and Mako Series D1 to give us that reverse delay solo really came in handy and then the strat and the plexi as well but let me know down in the comments how close you thought i got to the original song and any future had sound like videos you'd like to see me do again there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear i use in this video and to record my videos these do help support the channel out further so i'd really appreciate you and check them out if you did like this video please leave a like comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well it really does help me out a lot and that way it won't be sounding in my future uploads other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists. I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.